I returned to work in 2004 and I was um, again being treated for, treated for post traumatic stress. I was like, at this time, I showed no emotions, I spoke in monotones, I only engaged on the surface. And uh, I was described as like a ghost. This is what Mark Harvey said about me, who I'd just come to know when I was working at the Academy. Because he'd come around one day and he was handing out chocolate frogs. He had some left over for some particular reason. And I said, oh, what do you want to give this to me for? He said, Greeny, I have some spare chocolate frogs. I, you know, do you want some money? You're raising funds and that. I just couldn't see it was such an act of human kindness that I had a reckless war between myself. And fortunately, Mark is one of those people who epitomises lesson five I spoke about today, about asking, monitoring and checking in. Because one day here at the, at the academy, I received some very bad news, so I went to see the inspector. Within an hour, I've gone into the office three times and Mark sat, sat there and said, no, the inspector's not back yet. And on the third occasion, he could see that something wasn't quite right. He said, Greeny, you know, is there something that, you know, that I can help with? I said, no, no, I'd be right. I left the demandable. I walked out here. Mark got up from his seat. He went down and said, hey, Greeny, Greeny, come back. And he said to me, hey, Greeny, I just wanted to let you know, mate, there's other people here willing to support and help you. Is there sure there's nothing I can do to help you, mate? Because you seem a bit just... He said, no, no, I just need to see the boss. But it planted a seed that this person might be okay, that I might be able to... Know, open up to them. And that's exactly what happened. I accepted Mark's support and help in time and we've become very, very good friends. And uh, he's an inspector now working in disaster management, an amazing man. And if you get the opportunity, one day you might get to work with him. But an absolutely fantastic boss who knows about his people, knows what's going on in their lives, and he will have those courageous conversations that are so powerful.